Welcome back to Dunright Residential and Commercial Services. You're here with Nathan. Okay, good afternoon. Um, so the question is, does a handyman require a license? Wow. I want to pick a question that would take 10 days to answer, depending on where you live. Okay, and what times, I guess, not only where you live, what time zone, um, you know, what, what the temperature is. I, I have no idea. The point is, um, this is one of those questions that has a lot of gray gray areas and gray time zones. I don't know what you call this. But um, here in Chicago, Illinois, um, there is there is such a thing as a licensed home repair person, okay? Um, to give an example of what I went through, trying to even attempt to get a license, um, thank God I got insurance. That's very simple. I could point out all kinds of online companies to get insurance that will allow um, yeah, a uh, handyman to send out, um, uh, you know, that insurance and proof of insurance to different uh, people that want to see it. But in general, um, the insur this this industry, um, please excuse the phone call there. The um, this industry, right, with insurance, um, right. So that's the easy part. But to get the license. Um, so they asked me, where's my business located in Chicago? So I said that it's located that, you know, they won't let me keep it in my house. Okay. So therefore to get a home repair license, I don't know how you can get a home repair license unless you have your own specialized office somewhere in the city, which I don't, I just, you know, work out of my truck really. Um, which is not a business location, so I could not get an official home repair license. So does that mean I don't know what I'm doing? I don't know. Um, you know, I mean, go figure. I mean, if I can install all kinds of things and fix, repair, whatever, um, and I don't need a license, I mean, it just tells you what's happening in this world. I understand the reason for a license, um, such as um, for very detailed, um, important work, such as building a house so that at least you know what you're doing. Uh, in a certain sense, uh, for larger projects, um, there's more control over things, which is what this world's into right now, control, control. Um, so, but for smaller projects, what I'm doing, repairing, uh, you know, uh, taking out a part of a refrigerator, like a little button or a dial and replacing it, um, I don't know what this world has come to requiring licenses. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, to have someone come to someone else's house besides for making sure that they're insured and their background checked, I don't know what, else, and the guy knows what he's doing, you know, heaven forbid someone should need a license for that, okay? Um, anyway, yeah, feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, like, like the videos if you're interested in them. Um, from a homeowner's perspective, it's nice to have a licensed person. I mean, you know, but the reality is a lot of times the licenses now are obtained by the owner of the company who takes the test and just trains somebody and sends them out. Not to say that the person that's trained actually knows everything that they're doing in every single situation. There could be sometimes just like a doctor has a practice, you practice repairs. Uh, sometimes you run into things that you've never seen before. So... I mean, you know, this is not the Wizard of Oz, but yeah, there's sometimes uh, things that uh, you have to use your creativity for or you have to contact the manufacturer um, and, and there is a science to it or there is a mathematical answer or God will help you. So anyway, uh, have a wonderful day and don't forget to smile.